What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to upgrade your Oculus Quest 2 fitness experience with the Oculus Move app. Now, once the Oculus Move app is set up, you can enable an overlay on either the top or bottom of your display, which shows estimated calories burned or duration of play. Now you can pair this feature with other Oculus Quest 2 upgrades such as the Kiwi Design Pro Grips or the Kiwi Design Dumbbell Kit which further enhance your Oculus Quest 2 fitness experience. Now this video is featured on the Oculus MetaQuest playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. As always we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. If you're looking for other products to upgrade your Quest 2 fitness experience, you can find them at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So to start things off, we're going to tap on the O button on the right controller. That's our Oculus button and that's going to open our menu. Now as you can see, my page is showing the apps page, but if this isn't showing up for you automatically, you can get there by using this bottom bar which has the time, battery, Wi-Fi signal, profile icon, and notifications. And to the far right, you would look for the apps icon and you would click on it and that would bring you to this page. Now again, we're going to be looking for the Oculus Move app, which is right here. And if you've never used it, there's a good chance that there will be an app update and it's recommended that you install it to make sure that you get the latest features and it runs without any problems. And if everything is good to go, we can click on it. So this first page just gives you a little bit information about what the Oculus Move app does. Basically, it keeps track of your physical fitness activity within your VR experience, so we can tap next. This next page just lets you know that you have to log into Facebook to use Oculus Move. And this app uses things such as your birth date, height, weight, and sex to determine how many calories you burn. Also, they combine all users' data to further improve the app. So we could tap next. Now this next page just states that you don't have to include age, weight, height, and sex. They're variables that help calculate how many calories you burn. And if you don't provide this information, you'll just get an estimate. But with that information, you will have a more precise estimate of the calories burned. So we can tap next. So just to give you an idea of how this all works, I'm going to go through this. We're going to click mail for me. And then we would select our height. I am 5'11", but if you want to see how the menu moves here, this is just a live demonstration. So we're going to do 5'11", click next. And then weight, I'm about 195 pounds, so we can click next. And then we have birthday, and this doesn't look adjustable. It looks like it goes by your Facebook. So there that is, you can't change the sliders or anything. It's just a confirmation, so we would confirm the date. And then the next page allows us to set a target for daily calories. Now I've been using this before and I previously had high 200 calories, but I'm going to do custom. So I'm going to change this to 300 calories by clicking on the plus icon repetitively here. And then we can click next. And this next page allows us to set a target for move minutes. Now, I previously had high 40 minutes, and I am going to stick with that one, so I'll click on that. But there is the custom option as well, and we're going to tap next. And then we have set a target for weekly goals. So basically, how many days you plan to use the Oculus and the Oculus Move app. I think a good starting point would be three days. Um, and then you can change from there. You can do five days or you can do custom or if you really are having a hard time, you can choose light one day. I am going to stick with moderate three days here and then we're going to click next. And then we have that overlay I was talking about earlier. So this overlay can be placed at either the top of your display or the bottom of the display or you can even select no overlay. Though I think having no overlay would defeat the point of having the Oculus Move app enabled because this gives you live feedback about how you're doing while you're doing what you are doing in your VR fitness experience. I recommend going with the top because it most likely won't cover anything while you are in an app. But again, there is the bottom option. So I'm going to click on top and then we're going to click next. 
And now we have this option to jump into our favorite game, get moving. Now recording starts automatically as soon as you turn on your Oculus Quest 2. So you don't have to go into the Oculus Move app and start it. It just starts automatically. And remember we had what we would refer to as a widget, which would appear at the top, which gives us our estimated calories and move minutes. Now you can see it's not showing up there yet, but if I look up slightly, then we should see that widget. You can see we have zero of 300 and zero out of 40. So now we have to go ahead and test this out and then we can go over the charts here and what's included. So in order for me to do that, we actually need to accumulate some data here. So I'm going to do a little bit of fitness and we'll get back to the video soon. So here we are with some fitness data and I did about 15 minutes of movement. Now, normally my workouts are a lot longer. They're at least 30 minutes to an hour, but I just wanted to get some data into the chart. So here is the first chart. You can see it's titled your stats and it has the calories, 123 out of 300 burned. We've got our movement at 17 out of 40 and then our weekly goal, which is zero out of three. And then we have another chart here we can click on and this is going to have more data. So it's going to have the amount of calories at what time of day, which is pretty neat. And the cool thing about this is on the right, we can see all our apps that were used during this workout. So we've got Beat Saber, Supernatural, Pistol Whip, other apps and Vox Machine. And you can see for each app, we have the amount of calories burned and how much time was spent in each app. So this is going to give you a nice breakdown of what you are spending the most time in. And then in the top right hand corner, we have view calendar and we can click on that and that's going to show all our workouts. Now, because we're just doing this for the first time for this video, obviously we only have March 12, 2022 shown here, but ideally as you work out here, more of the calendar would get filled in with these different colors and it would look pretty interesting. But we also have more information. So if we go underneath the calendar, again, we're going to have stats and that's where we're at now. But next we're going to have history and clicking on that will open up a new page that starts with a graph of calories. And this is going to be by the month. So you can see that we have an all time, a yearly average, a monthly average, a weekly average and a daily average. So it'll be interesting to see how this changes over time as we're using this app. Next we have clock and this is going to be for move minutes. So it's a chart for move minutes again for every month. And you can see again, all time, yearly average, monthly average, weekly average, daily average. So just like the calories, it's going to be interesting to see how the move minutes graph changes over time as well. And then we have the calendar that's going to be active days. And again, this is monthly as well. And you can see it's by zero days, eight days, 16 days, 24 days, 31 days. And at the bottom, all time, yearly average, monthly average, weekly average, daily average. So as we put data into this, you'll have a good idea of how often you work out throughout a whole year, which will be interesting to see. And then our last option will be goals of all apps. I'm not really sure what this one really means yet. I haven't really experimented with this one too much. So it'll be interesting to see what I find out. And if I find anything interesting, I may do a follow up video. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching us on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.